guys, Mr. Lambert here. Just going to be talking to you today about diets and fats. So we're just going to check your prior knowledge, do the quick five questions, just pause me and have a go at these on your worksheet. Common terms. Okay, we're going to go through these one by one. As we do, just connect the term across to the definition on your worksheet. Vegans. In addition to being vegetarian, they do not use other animal products and byproducts, such as eggs, dairy products, honey, etc. Vegetarians. It's a general term used to describe people who exclude meat, poultry, fish, or other animal-derived foods from their diets. That's a pretty good-looking vegetarian pizza. Diabetic. It's someone whose body cannot maintain healthy levels of glucose in the blood. Gluten-free. It's a diet that does not include the grains, wheat, barley, rye, or hybrids of these grains. Fruititarian. Fruits, nuts, and seeds make up the main diet of this vegan subset. Some will supplement these with beans, oil, and honey. Paleo. It's the notion that modern humans should go back to eating real, whole, unprocessed foods. An omnivore. It's an equal opportunity eater who consumes both animal and plant-based foods in varying ratios. So there are a few other things that can also affect your diet. For example, intolerances or allergies. So people, quite a lot of people are quite allergic to things like fish and shellfish, um, obviously lactose, so milk, um, things like peanuts. A lot of schools don't allow you to, to go along with your peanut butter sandwiches. The cost. A lot of people can't afford the really expensive stuff. And when I say really expensive, okay, the fact of the matter is that milk actually costs a lot more than a bottle of Coke. So it's not actually the things at the top end that are that are really killing households and making people eat unhealthily. Okay, it's the fact that Coke is cheaper uh, than milk. Culture and religion comes into play. So you have halal, okay, which is when you can only eat certain foods, um, which are killed in certain ways. Um, you also have foods that are kosher and non-kosher, so certain cuts with certain types of meat okay, can and can't be eaten by certain people. And you have things like Ramadan, okay, which is celebrated between um, the months there of, of May to June, um, and people cannot eat uh, out when the sun's out, and you have to eat at night. Ease or time is a huge one, especially for a lot of busy families out there. So it's a lot easier for some people to just go through the drive through on the way home from football training or something like that, rather than going home and cooking a full-on proper meal. Deficiencies. A lot of people can be deficient in iron and in calcium and all sorts of other vitamins, and, and uh, you know, they have to try to balance their diet around that. I know here it says that there's the 12 best food sources for calcium, and in fact, there's 14. <clears throat> Other people come into it. If you're hanging out with your mates and you're trying to eat healthily and your mate just wants to go down and get a burger from McDonald's, sometimes it can be quite hard to say no. If they want to constantly go to a restaurant that doesn't serve the sort of food that you want to eat, then again, it can be quite tough, and that's where sacrifices need to be made. Attitudes or feelings at the time are a really big one. Certain foods make you feel really good. Okay, certain times when you're feeling down, you just want to run home and eat a whole tub of ice cream. Okay, other times when you're feeling really good about yourself and you feel like you want to maybe give yourself a bit of a treat, you might eat some bad food as well. What we're going to do is we're going to jump online. We're going to find our favorite restaurant. Okay, we're going to look into it on their website. Do they have vegetarian or vegan options? What are their gluten-free meals like? Do they provide options for people on diets? What would you order if you're on a low-carb diet? So go through, check out their menu, and fill this out on your worksheet. There are plenty of people out there who have deficiencies, nutrient deficiencies in particular. So what could the following people with these deficiencies do to improve? What foods could they eat if they had an iron deficiency? a potassium deficiency, a calcium deficiency, and a vitamin D deficiency. What could they do and what could they eat? Lastly, we're going to do a research topic and we're going to find out what the following diets consist of and we're going to eliminate them accordingly. Are any of these diets actually worthwhile doing? Is any diet actually worthwhile doing? 
So we'll go through, we'll Google these, we're going to answer each of the five questions off to the side. Okay, we're going to find out what does this diet aim to do? What are some of the do's and don'ts of this diet? What are the advantages of a diet like this? What are some of the health concerns? And what kind of person would suit each of these diets? Awesome. So work through that bit by bit. Okay, remember, if you need some help, just check your hand up. Mr. Lambert is 